Aquaculture started to take off in Madagascar in the 1980s. The majority of aquaculture in Madagascar includes the cultivation of sea cucumbers, seaweed, fish and shrimp. Aquaculture in Madagascar is being used to stimulate the country's economy, increase the wages of fishermen and women in the area and improve the region's ocean water quality. Coastal regions of Madagascar are reliant on the Indian Ocean's marine resources as a source of food, income, and cultural identity. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world and consists of the main island, as well as smaller surrounding islands. Madagascar is considered to be a biodiversity hotspot. Over 90% of its wildlife is not found anywhere else on Earth. In the Velandriaki, a locally managed marine area, LMMA, in southwest Madagascar, laws have been created by an official governing body, consisting of elected representatives from 25 villages, called Dina, to combat environmental degradation. This LMMA includes coral reefs, mangroves, seagrass beds, baobab forests and other threatened habitats. The Vezo, literally meaning people who fish in the Malagasy language of the region, are amongst Madagascar's poorest. Making environmentally conscious efforts to boost the economy and raise incomes are top priorities for the LMMA. Sea cucumbers Sea cucumbers, considered a delicacy in Asia, play a crucial role in recycling nutrients from sediments on the ocean floor to form the bedrock of complex marine chains. Wild sea cucumber populations have dropped with many fishers now using scuba gear to access those that are left. This practice has been banned in Madagascar. A 2012 EU commissioned study of Madagascar's sea cucumber trade showed an 85% drop in the population since the fisheries peak. In the southeast Velandriaki region of the island, Toliara's Marine Institute uses new technology to produce young sea cucumbers to sell to fishers. Community farming groups then grow these animals in simple mesh farming pens close to their village. Because sea cucumbers feed off the ocean floor, the growing process requires no food, just pen maintenance. After nine months sea cucumbers reach their full adult size and are sold to exporters for around US $2.50 each. This system links isolated communities to global markets and has been proven to raise income of farmers who make less than $1.50 per day, by US $30 per month, nearly doubling their monthly income. This system combines economic growth with environmental sustainability and supply and demand. Andavadoaka, a founding village of the Velandriaki Locally Managed Marine Area, LMMA, won the Equator Prize, awarded by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in 2007, for its innovative approach to conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity. Andavadoaka is home to the administrative center of the Velandriaki Association, which was established in 2005 to manage the Velandriaki LMMA. Shrimp Commercial shrimp farming was introduced to Madagascar in the early 1990s. International organizations and foreign investors have dominated this industry with financing, technical support and infrastructure development. Shrimp aquaculture in Madagascar has grown in importance over the years, and is responsible for the direct and indirect employment of over 3,000 people on the island. Shrimp farmed in Madagascar are high quality and sell at relatively high prices. Today, the shrimp export industry has difficulty competing with less costly shrimp from other areas such as Asia. One species of shrimp, from Madagascar, prized by shrimp farmers is Penius monodon. It is renowned for its size and quality and sells for up to three times as much as shrimp from other countries. Penius monodon is valued by consumers for both its taste and texture but it is too expensive to those whose purchase based on the price. Therefore, on price alone, shrimp products from Madagascar cannot compete in export markets. It is unknown whether they can compete in high-end niche markets, but it could be a marketing opportunity and solution to the crisis the industry now faces. Marine aquaculture in the northwest is dominated by giant tiger prawn farming near the mangrove areas which have been identified by the Madagascar Shrimp Aquaculture Development Master Plan, Shema D. Amanagement Por L. Aquaculture de Crevits a Madagascar, SAACM. These farm areas are systems composed of breeding ponds, a hatchery, a processing and packaging factory and storage facilities. Seaweed 
Seaweed farming is practiced in the northeastern region of the island in conjunction with the Ibis Madagascar Company. Harvesting is done in a coastal zone, usually by women and children. Training and research Training and research on aquaculture started in the 80s with the Marine Station of Toliara and enhanced by the implementation of the Fishery High Training Unit UFSH, Unité de Formation Supérieure Halutique. The Marine Station, established in 1961 near of the current harbor of Toliara, has achieved many research mainly on coral reefs in the southwest Bay of Toliara and Bay of Ranobi, especially the Great Reef Toliara, GRT. Since 1972, with the gradual creation of the current University of Toliara, research has diversified and included fisheries. Several researchers and technicians have been trained, but at the time the need was more academic and pedagogical. With the UFSH project funded by FAO, it was extended to aquaculture. Forty fisheries scientists engineers were trained with several specialties including fishery and aquaculture. Most of these engineers have strengthened the team of the Ministry for Fisheries and Agriculture. Other contributed to the creation and development of the first shrimp farms in Madagascar, currently grouped in UNIMA. Two engineers were recruited by the Fishery and Marine Science Institute IHSM, Institute Haluti, et des Sciences Marines, to ensure following training of new technicians, managers and aquaculture, and new fishery scientists engineers effective training of 20 new engineers in 2013. Both research and training entities have combined their structure to create in 1993, the current IHSM. Since 1993, all training and research in fisheries and aquaculture are being provided by this institute. With the adoption of the LMD system by the Universities of Madagascar, training is now grouped into three academic cycles, one, license of the sea and littoral which include biodiversity environment and fisheries and aquaculture options, two, masters in applied oceanography including several specializations and three, PhD in applied oceanography. Research in these fields are now well diversified and performed by more than 30 researchers PhD, and several PhD research students. In recent years, skill levels in the Madagascar aquaculture industry have improved considerably. This has been largely due to the improvement efforts of IHSM and the government created, in yearly 2000s the Ministry of Fishery and Marines Resources. The implementation of non-profit NGOs, such as MITAM, which have become an integral part of the island seafood industry has also enhanced the effectiveness of the development of fishery and aquaculture training in Madagascar. These NGOs especially focus their work on aquaculture training programs based on prior experience and training for wild fisheries and marine farms. The Independent Mission for Development and Education in Madagascar MITAM, is an open, non-profit NGO in Madagascar aiming to provide a sustainable solution to the needs of the Malagasy population stricken by extreme poverty and social injustice on the east coast of Madagascar. MIDEM's mission is to improve livelihoods by implementing projects on education, rural development including fish farming, entrepreneurship and social development. Legislation and administration Marine farmers usually look for sheltered and unpolluted waters rich in nutrients. Often these areas are also desirable for other purposes. In the late 1990s, demand for coastal aquaculture space increased. Aquaculture developed with the regional councils unsure of how marine farms might impact the delicate coastal environments. By early 2000, farmers, fishers and NGOs were operating with inadequate regulations for managing the coast in a sustainable way. This lack of regulation led to the creation of locally managed marine areas LMMA. There are however, few regulations limiting aquaculture in Madagascar, and of the few, even less are enforced. References